Welcome back to Leeds Lately. If you are new here and you're a Leeds United fan, you enjoy tactical analysis, match reactions, live streams, everything like that, you know what to do. We're trying to hit 10K by the end of the season. But today's video is about the fact that Leeds United have finally finally signed a striker and his name is Joel Perot. Now we've done a video in the past on the channel about Joel Perot so if you want to go and check that one out um, you'll find it under uh, Joel Perot to Leeds United everything you need to know and that's more of a tactical analysis but today we're just going to talk a little bit about the fact it has been announced now um, that Joel Perot the best striker in the championship has made a transfer to Leeds United for around 10 million pounds. Now the Dutch striker is 23 years old he spent his last couple of seasons at Swansea scoring 19 goals last season and 21 goals the season before and getting assists as well in the process and like I said he's the best striker in the championship it's a brilliant sign in the 49ers what they've done is they've bided their time they've waited till they could definitely get the right deal across the line and they've gone out there and they've been aggressive like they've said that they were going to do and they've got the best striker in the league. Um, Joel Perot could score loads of goals for us this season. At the moment, it's subject to a work permit. Um, let's just get that off the bat. Um, it's subject to a work permit um, because of Brexit and other things like that. But it just means that because he's already been in Britain playing for Swansea, it should go through easily, but it might not be in time um, for the game at the weekend. So you might not see him in this match day squad, but for next week, you probably see him in there. But yes, Joel Perot then, what sort of player is he? Well, he's not exactly the same sort of player as Timu Puki or um, Turam that Farker has had in his last couple of teams, but he does fit the system, I think. And I think that, is because he's a good header of the ball um, and we get a lot of good crosses into the box now with from Ailing on the right, um, whoever else is playing out there, Perveda, Somerville, Sinistera, who was actually coming back now into the squad. And then also um, on the left-hand side, Dan James, who's been putting a lot of balls into the box as well. So I think Joel Perot is going to do really well in the air, coming into the box and, and having that striker's instinct to finish. Um Joe was making the point um, that Joe Lynch, as seen on um, The View, uh, Leeds United The View, uh, so go and check him out if you haven't already. If you don't know who he is, then you've been living under a rock. But he said that there's not that much room to run in behind for this Leeds team because a lot of teams will be sitting in and playing deep against us. And whilst that is one of Joel Perot's good strengths, he has also got it in his in his locker and in his repertoire as well to score goals in other situations. He can score goals from outside the box. He's got an excellent shot on him, a lot of power behind it. Um, he's able to make those runs inside the box to get headers, um, like I said before. And also the other thing, and I think the thing that he is really good at and will be good for a Farka system is the fact that he pulls defenders around. He drags defenders wide. He pulls them this way and that. And basically what that does is it opens up a space for somebody like Nader Mamiri, who the next video might be about, um, or whoever is playing in that number 10 role, to run through the middle and score goals, um, much like what Todd Cantwell and Emi Buendia did when Timu Puki made for the space for them to um, in the Norwich system that Farker implemented as well. So I think Joel Perot will do really well at creating chances for other players. He's also a decent passer of the ball. Um, he can assist as well as score goals. We've seen that over the last couple of seasons in the championship. He's not just goals that he's scoring. He's getting assists as well and creating those shot creating actions that we like on this channel. And now if you're new here, shot creating action is basically the pass before an assist of a shot, if you will. So whoever passed it to Dan James to then pass it to Willie Nonto to have a shot, or it could be whoever wins the free kick that then whipped in and then a, a header gets on target or scored. Basically, he's involved. It's a good way of measuring whether he's involved in the attack in play. And he gets quite a few of those as well. So Joe Perot, he will score a lot of goals for Leeds United. If he can stay fit, he will score a lot of goals for Leeds United. He's the best striker in the championship. I can't quite believe that nobody else in the Premier League actually took a chance on him. Somebody like Luton Town, somebody like Everton, any of those teams down the bottom end, for us to only get them get them, get him for £10 million. I think they'll be kicking themselves because they could have plucked him out of the championship for a similar fee and 
had a very, very decent striker on the hands. He's very young, he's physical, he's strong, and he's clinical. And that's one of the main things. He's actually a clinical striker, and we've really, really needed that. So for me, this is an unbelievable signing, and it just shows that we needed to have a little bit of patience in this transfer window. We've not heard anything concrete in about probably a week since Joe Roden signed. And now we've got Joel Perot, the best striker in the championship. Um, we're looking at Nader Mamiri as well, uh, attacking midfielder from Bayer Leverkusen. I will go into that in a video in the future if it does become more concrete. Um, and there should be a few other signings coming in before the window ends. But this one was a massive one that we really needed. Um, and like I say, I think he's going to fit in really, really well to the system. He's young, he's strong, he's physical, he's prolific, he's clinical. Um, he's everything that you would really need in a striker, especially challenging to the top of the championship. I think once we have him integrated into the system and the players that we've got coming back in and then going out and getting some more signings, we could easily have the best squad in the championship by the end of the transfer window. And I think it's really important that we don't stop now, that we go out and we get some more players in. We've also been linked with Pantsil from uh, the Belgian League, I think he's from. Um, he's supposed to be really good as well, but I haven't actually looked into him yet. Um, so that will be a video as well if um, if he's on his way in. But yeah, um, I'm really excited to see Joel Perot get his, get his, uh, get his debut for, for Leeds United. And I'm assuming it'll be next week. Um, at Elland Road, which I have got tickets for again, Sheffield Wednesday, isn't it? So I've got tickets for that one. Um, so hopefully I'll be, get to see his debut. Um, but yeah, plenty more content to come on the channel surrounding transfers, match reactions. I'll be live for the game at the weekend. So come and join me there. But yes, Joel Perot has officially signed for Leeds United and it is an excellent, excellent signing. Um, that's going to be it for this one, though. Thank you very much for watching Leeds Lately. Again, like I said at the start, hit that sub button if you want to be part of the channel and help me get to that 10K mark. And I shall see you in the next one.